Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, I found some vegan jerky at my local Whole Foods and right away I knew I had to try them out on my channel for you guys just so that you can see all the different options that are out there. But before I get into this review and telling you about this company, if you are new to my channel, I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell down below to receive notifications for my future videos. I post every Tuesday through Saturday and I do review videos, unboxing videos, recipe videos, and much more. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. But like I said, I found these at my local Whole Foods and I'm so excited to try them out for you. I was never a big jerky fan before I went vegetarian and then vegan, but ever since going vegan and trying vegan jerkies, I've become very interested in them. I'm not sure why and like I have no clue how that even started. But today I'm going to be trying out the Coco Berg Just Eat Real Food Vegan and Paleo Coconut Jerky. And I have two different flavors that I'm going to try out today. I have the original savory and chewy one and then I also have this chili lime one that I'm super excited to try because I love everything with a kick. My guess is the texture of these are not going to be quite like actual jerky just because it is coconut jerky. So they use actual coconut strips and the last coconut jerky I tried was more like dehydrated coconut. So I don't really think this is going to be similar in that way. But I'm really excited to be trying out the flavors. They are coconut strips that are marinated, dehydrated, and then they're all finished. These, like I said, are also paleo, so this is a great option for anyone who is focusing more on that with their food. I'm gonna read off of this red one because this is really hard to read. And what I love is the ingredients are very, very simple, and that's how you know it's like a good food for you, is it's just young coconut meat, coconut aminos, which is coconut sap, sun-dried sea salt, garlic, black pepper, and onion. So I love the fact that you know everything that you're putting into your body. I think that's really, really awesome. Let's see here. Nutrition information for the original flavor right here. One serving size is one ounce. So there's roughly two servings per bag. You are getting 130 calories. Total fat is eight grams. Sodium is 290 milligrams. Total carbs are 11 grams, which is 4% of your daily value, which isn't terrible. Dietary fiber is six grams. Sugars are three grams and protein is two grams. You are also getting 6% of your daily value of iron, which is awesome. These are also gluten-free and soy-free as well, so if you are allergic to either of those, these are a-okay. Obviously, if you're allergic to tree nuts, specifically coconut, this is an option that you are going to want to steer clear from because it's just basically coconut. And then nutrition information for this, I'm just going to let you know if there's anything different about the two. So calories are 10 less, there's 120. Sodium, it is 220 milligrams rather than 290. You're getting 9 grams of carbs, which is 2 less than the original. Sugars is one gram less and everything else is the same. Okay, I think I'm gonna start out with the original flavor just to get an idea of what they're wanting to create. Very much like a dehydrated coconut, so I'm not really surprised. It kind of looks like dehydrated apples, sort of. That's the kind of texture I'm seeing right now. Though it doesn't look as like crunchy or crispy. We're gonna go ahead and try it. I didn't like that I could just do that. <laughs> I don't know guys. Uh, I don't like the textures on these. Like it's fine if it's dehydrated coconut, but I don't want it to be able to snap like it just did. That's weird. The coconut is also a little bit weird. I'm wondering where they sourced it, though maybe it's just what they marinated it in, but it doesn't taste like nice fresh coconut. It does have a good pepper taste to it, so if you're someone who really loves pepper, this is a great option for you. I'm not as big of a fan of pepper, so that's also why I'm not necessarily liking it. But even the texture I'm like not obsessed with. There's not like a really, really strong flavor that comes with this outside of the pepper. The aftertaste tastes like nice fresh coconut, but as you're eating it, it doesn't really. And that kind of bothers me, especially because it is so coconut heavy. I don't know. I'll try another one. Let's do one more. This one looks a little less crunchy. <laughs> no. I liked the other brand that I reviewed that did coconut. Um, jerky. I think I've reviewed two of their products actually. I'll link them both up in an eye right there so you can go ahead and check them out. I feel like the more I would eat these the more I would get used to it and then I'd probably just like like it. Right now I'm kind of like meh. Let me try their flavored one. Oh that's weird. So <laughs> this packaging has a resealable zipper and this one doesn't. That's weird. I got them the same day at the exact same location so that's weird to me. Oh this is way different. Okay. Before I show you that, I need to show you the inside of this one. So these ones, hopefully you guys can see, they're all like curled up like that, kind of like dehydrated apples would get curled up. Okay. And then these ones are like little sheets. That's weird to me that they're so different. I wonder if they like 
had a change in their products and their packaging between these two like actually being created even though they were sold at the exact same time because the best buy date on this one is February 24th and the best buy date of this one is January 15th of 2020 not this year <laughs> okay so this is what this one looks like and I honestly I like how this one looks more than I like how the other one looks so hopefully this is the direction they decided to go it also doesn't see oh no I don't think I'm gonna like this no it shouldn't be crunchy like that. That's weird. They're like coconut chips then, not coconut jerky. Flavor is better on this one. The coconut is not as strong, which is great for people who don't necessarily like really pungent coconut taste. There's not really a heavy kick with this one. It's there a little bit. Now granted, I really like spicy flavors. Oh, now it's growing. Okay, it grows. So at first there won't be a ton and then it, it does grow on you. This is actually, at this point, this is like what I love. So I'll let you know if it grows to a point where I can't handle it. The texture is nice once you start chewing on it because then it like becomes less crunchy and more chewy. See, I don't like that it does that. This one definitely has a little bit more moistness to it. I think honestly, if they did thicker coconut strips and marinated them in something that's a little bit stronger, then it'd probably be more like coconut jerky. Oh, this one looks a little bit different. This one's a little bit thicker. Let's look at this one. So this side here is a tad bit thicker. I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, so let's see if this one's a little bit better. It's a little bit, well, obviously not that bit. No, see, I don't, I don't like that you can do that. Okay, let's try the thicker part. No. <laughs> it's just the same thing, but denser. You know, thicker and denser. Here's the thing. If I went, like, on a camping trip and these were what was supplied, I would eat them. I wouldn't really complain. I mean, maybe I complain about the crunchy bit, but only to someone really, really close to me. I just think there are other options out there that are better. For example, the other coconut jerky that I tried, texture was really, really nice. I think if you're gonna get either of these, definitely get the coconut lime one if you like spicy things. I think this one's just a lot more flavorful and more enjoyable, like this one. If they changed the texture of this, I would really, really love it. Cause I think taste-wise, it's pretty good. Again, like I said, more the aftertaste than anything else. I would just say they're all right, you guys. They're not something that's horrible. I don't think I'd ever get the original flavor, even if they changed the texture. The biggest issue I think is they just dehydrated it for too long. I think they're all right. I think there are better options. I guess I don't know necessarily with paleo if there are better options, just cause that's not something that I exercise in my life. It also kind of like gets into like your teeth crevices. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> so you do kind of have to like pick it out. I think there are better vegan jerkies out there, whether they are similar to jerky or just kind of their own thing. I think there are better options that I enjoy a lot more. So I, I would definitely choose, I think all the ones that I've tried on my channel over this brand, which sounds really, really rude. But I just think texture-wise, I can't do it. And texture is really, really important to me when I eat. So if texture is not as big to you, I mean, definitely worth trying. If you're looking something that has a bit more crunch to it, I think this would be a good option. I would definitely think of these more as chips necessarily than jerky. I think the name just kind of confuses it. Because I think jerky tends to have a certain texture and then chips do as well. So I think if these would have said like coconut chips, the texture maybe wouldn't have bothered me as much. Because I would see this more as what it is then. But I think for a jerky, it's not really getting to what I would want. But yeah, I think those are my thoughts. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have tried these and what you thought about them. Did you actually really, really like the texture and it's something that you really, really enjoy? Are you paleo and does this sound like an option that you would enjoy yourself? I would love to know all of that down below in the comments. Also, if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed or clicked the bell yet, please do. I would love to have you join my channel. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.